I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is finding the mean for a discrete pro probability distribution table. So if you would, uh, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. Alright, I purposely left things out, but before we even begin the problem, let's start by noticing some things. First off, it's discrete, it's not continuous. Look at your variable, or look at your set that you have. It's a countable uh, number of outcomes listed. You can count one, two, three, four, five. It's a finite number, as opposed to continuous. Another characteristic of a discrete uh, distribution probability table is this. All your probabilities are between zero and one. You can't have negative probability, uh, probability is always positive, and it's always uh, between 1 and 0, always. And these probabilities also on the table have to add up to 1, which they do. Now to find the mean, you're basically going to use this, the summation of x times the probability of x. So this missing piece right here is x times p of x. You know what this means? You have to break out your handy dandy calculator. So you're just multiplying these two. So first you use 0 times 0 0.31 sorry 1 3 which is 0, obviously. Uh, this is going to be 1 times this, which is 0 0.15. Then 2 times this, which would be 0 0.46. This right here would be 0 0.84. This uh, 4 times 0 0.17 is 0 0.68 and then for the last one 5 times this is 0 0.20 and so your next step would simply just to be adding these up which I can't do my uh, plus 0 0.46 plus 0 0.84 plus 0 0.68 plus 0 0.20 and that gives me a mean of which is this column right here added up uh, 2.33 now, a nice rule of thumb is when you're finding the mean or even standard deviation, what you do is go to one more decimal place than your discrete variable. So here, there are no decimal places, so it would just be one decimal place. So your mean would be approximately 2.3. Now, when you're doing a discrete probability distribution table, you also have what's called an expected value. Your expected value is the mean. You expect your variable x to be what? To be 2.3 or 2 or, you know, would be, you expect it to be 2. So that's pretty much it. 